Sometimes, when you record someone speaking into a mic, their voice is so loud the audio distorts or clips. It sounds like this. Rode just released a new wireless pro. They say it has 32-bit recording, which prevents clipping. I say that that is a fraud and a scam. Rode released a new version of their wireless pro and claim this. Hey guys, Ryan here. Let me introduce you to the Rode Wireless Pro. That's right, the Wireless Pro is the one that you've been waiting for. And easily the most common feature request that we've received for the Wireless Go 2 is 32-bit float recording. And we're excited to introduce you to this incredible feature in the Wireless Pro. Just like the Wireless Go 2, the Wireless Pro features onboard recording functionality, meaning that you always have a clean backup of your audio just in case your audio drops out or clips. With the Wireless Pro, these recordings are recorded as uncompressed 32-bit float files. If you're not familiar with 32-bit float recording, it is a recording format that captures audio with incredibly wide dynamic range. Essentially, this means no matter how loud or quiet the audio that you're recording is, you can adjust it to the ideal level in post-production without losing any audio quality. If the audio was very quiet, you can bring it up without introducing noise into your signal. And if the audio was very loud, you can lower it and there will be no distortion or clipping. What this means in practical terms is that you never have to worry about setting your gain before recording as you have unlimited flexibility with the audio files recorded onto the Wireless Pro transmitters in post-production. It's an absolute game changer for audio production, and it means that you can easily export audio from your Wireless Pro at any loudness level to suit your application with a single click. I've already done a video on why YouTubers like Matt Johnson, who claim 32-bit audio prevents clipping, don't know what they're talking about. People commented that I was babbling, that I am wrong. There are plenty of videos, these guys say, that show how 32-bit float prevents microphone clipping. I say bring it on. I look for those files and I can't find them. I really must want to make a fool of myself to go up against the mighty engineers at Rode. But hey, this is YouTube. Rode does not provide links to real audio recordings where one is done in 32-bit float in a real-world situation that's more usable than a 32-bit recording. It's ironic that many call me out because I make theoretical arguments when it is Rode who's making the theoretical claim. I'm not the one asking you to pay me $400 to eliminate clipping. And on my word alone. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if Rode's new wireless microphone has less clipping than their previous version, but that would come from the electronics of automatic gain control at the analog end, not 32-bit float at the digital end. And I am not arguing that 32-bit anything uh, can't be better than 24-bit. My point is only that microphone clipping in practice is an issue of mic placement and it's analog gain. Placement, gain. Also, let me point out these devices only record 32-bit float internally. The audio that goes to your camera, none of it is 32-bit float, and if you believe you're going to copy those internal files for 32-bit audio, why have wireless in the first place? Rode lists the wireless pros having a 72 dB signal to noise ratio that easily falls under what is expected 96 dB range in 16 bit. What makes my blood boil is Rode has no respect for the limitations of human technology to deal with the hard physics of microphone construction. If Rode wants to sell their new lav set so badly, why not show how the new one prevents clipping where their previous model did not? So all you people out there who, make a, who want to make a living on YouTube or work in Hollywood, go ahead. Throw your money away. You think I care? I mean, go ahead. Learn bad habits. That's what you'll be doing because that is the garden path road is leading you down. They're making you lazy, making you think you can do professional work with their magical devices. All road wants is your money. Sorry not saying not to buy their equipment, just open your eyes or your ears. Notice how many YouTubers turn a blind eye to this fraud. They too don't make money being critical or they just don't understand the physics and technical limitations of what microphones can do. 32-bit float data is for the studio and even there, I think it a waste. Though I'll freely admit I'm not a recording engineer or a degreed engineer of any kind. 
I got C's in math and physics in high school. So if you want to write me off as a know-nothing, go right ahead. I am the fool. No argument. But you will be the fool when it really matters one day. If you buy into this marketing fraud, mark my words. This fool says, place your microphone properly. Set the gain to focus on the mic's output that you want. Forget 32-bit float. Perhaps one day they'll invent microphones that make use of 32 bits of data. But until that day comes, test for yourself. Learn how the stuff really works, what it does, and what it doesn't. Thanks for watching.